guys, so the drum recording for the new album is finally finished, woo! I can't really explain how exciting it is to finally make a start on actually getting the album done. It has been a long time coming. I think some of the some of the oldest songs have literally been in the works since the last album was released in 2014, so that means yeah, it's been five or six years in the making, so we're so happy to finally have this underway. Um, so yeah, enjoy the next few clips um, that we took whilst recording at Parlour Studios in Kettering on Fleet. Um, big thanks for Neil to helping us out with getting this done and yeah, hope you enjoy! And, and then it, once you got a nice reverb on that in uh -huh. post-production, that was so awesome that it was, you know, ring out. You missed that last, that time as well, the last time we got first version. Yeah, well. say it would be the same there. Yeah, the, the same you did. There was spot on the first time you had it, and then it's just you didn't just need to do the same same thing the second time. Okay, should we go again from the top? You, you had it. You, you definitely had it the first time. Okay, so yeah, we're here at my home studio, as you can see. Um, it's about two weeks ago now, we were at Parlour Studios recording drums. Um, we only took two days there because it was literally just a case of just recording and everything else um, to do with drums post-production I did here at home. Marcelo did a good job uh, just going through it, you know, really putting everything under a microscope. Um, he made my job here quite easy, actually, because it was pretty 
pretty much on the grid a lot of it, so uh, there's a bit of tidying up to do, but just a very monotonous task I've had over the last two weeks. I'm glad that's over now though. <laughs> so I'll just give you a little example here. This is one of our tracks called Penumbra. Is the band mascot. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. She's <laughs> got. Doesn't want to. She's got the corpse paint and the the grim look. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, now we've got drums. Um, how they're going to be on the album? Um, the next thing we've got lined up to record will be a, a bass. Obviously, that's uh, TJ's dog. So. Um, I've given him these tracks, just the, the drums as they are right here, um, just so we can get used to exactly how the, you know, the kick patterns go and everything like that. And uh, once he's ready, he'll be recording his bass, and then from there it's uh, down to me and Sean to do the guitars. So. Cool. And then vocals go last as well, don't they? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would. Yeah. I mean, then there's of course there's also stuff like keyboards. Um, yeah. You can do them after the guitars. Is um, it going to be harp, harp on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't forget about that. Yeah, it's your harp. I would say that would be just before the vocals would do that. Cool. So, any idea of when all the recording might be done then? Um, no, it's hard to put an exact uh, time frame on it. I'm, I, I'd say as long as it, I think as long as we we've got it done by uh, by the summer, I think that should be easy enough to do. Yeah, okay, so going through, uh, you know, all these drums uh, after, the re after they were recorded, really analysing everything under a microscope, um, naturally there was a few kick patterns that um, Marcelo did that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily have noticed before, or on the demo tracks, obviously it was just um, program drums, you know, he's not exactly going to, well, I did say to him, just do your own thing, basically. Um, so there's a few bits where this is what's good about going through it after he's recorded it and really analysing everything. Um, there's a few parts where I've changed the rhythm of what I'm doing on rhythm guitar and therefore the bass will change as well obviously. Um, just to match the, the kick patterns. Um, this is one of a few examples just here. So this is the verse for a song called Wistful Reverie. Um, the rhythm guitar used to be just straight chugging along in eight, um, but he's doing quite a cool little pattern on his kicks there and I just followed that with the rhythm guitar so it basically sounds like this now. So obviously those are just the demo guitars but you get the idea. <laughs> 